Well, you see them a lot down in South Florida, and once in a while we'll get a report of a tegu lizard spotted in the Bay Area, but wildlife officials now say they're actually mm -hmm. colonizing further north than ever before. And they got a big appetite, and they're eating the wrong things, mm -hmm. too. Let's get to Devo. How many times have we done a Devo on an invasive species yeah. in Florida? There are so many of them, and this one kind of comes to the forefront right now. Everyone, when you think about invasive species, you know, you're thinking about the pythons, obviously. But here's something, the tegu lizard. It's the Argentinian black and white tegu lizard, and it's multiplying rapidly. Oh, it's bigger than I expected. No, these Russell, well, now not, listen to I mean... this, Russell, these can get four and a half feet oh, well. long. Okay, and this is why they're so problematic in the state of Florida because Good unlike pythons, <laughs> pythons can get killed by cold. Okay, these can't. They will burrow in the winter time and wait until January or February to come back out. Plus, they eat anything. They'll eat bananas and then they eat eggs of other small mammals, which is the big problem they're having. In 2019, a couple of years ago, they were able to remove from the wild 1,425 of them. You're like, okay, well, what does that mean? That's double, double than what they were able to remove just four years before that. So obviously in four years from 2019, you can imagine there's gonna be a lot more of these. Now, how did it start though? That's the question I was about to turn how around and ask you. How did it start? Okay, released and escaped pets yep. were the reason that this started. Then there were dealers that were responsible for the spread as well. There were a lot of dealers. Now, it's taken a very long time to get some type of legislation to take care of these. Now, they're not harmful to humans, okay? In fact, they're actually decent pets, although we don't want you to have them as pets. Mm. Uh, the problem is this. They, eat, they did a stomach content analysis on 124 of them, so not just one, and they found that they eat frogs and they eat toads, they eat other lizards, they eat snakes, but this is the problem. They also eat the eggs yeah. of the gopher turtles, which are a threatened species, and they also eat the eggs of the alligators as well, which we know they are, should belong here. So this is the problem they're having with these tegu lizards and they're trying to get rid of them. I mean, one by one by one. So they've passed legislation that says, if you own one right now, you can keep it until it dies, okay? You can't release it. They're getting microchipped and registered. So if people do release them, they can track back to the owner. Wow. And no more are being allowed into the state of Florida. So here's a situation where, yes, it's not necessarily harmful to human beings, but our fragile ecosystems of these gopher turtles and some of these alligators are being impacted by these lizards. And I'm gonna finish with this one thing. University of Florida wildlife professor said, and this is, I couldn't agree with this more. If you wait until you see the impact the animal is having, it's too late. That's what our problem was with the pythons. That's what our problem is with the lizards. So the more and more of these invasive species are coming to the forefront because they're hurting, they're hurting the ecology of Florida. We've got to get to it before that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and this, if you happen to see one of these, don't try to catch it or anything like that. Uh, just please call it in exactly where it is and they, you know you can go on to the fish and uh, wildlife website and give you an idea of who you can call to just let them know so they can come get it and just get it out of here yeah there's a pretty good chance i'm not gonna try and catch that no but it's interesting because they started as pets i know but see but watch this guy watch this guy you see see what's about to happen here the thing's gonna snap at him yeah in just one second well you know what there it goes well, right you know well happens, i would too Russell, if you hit but me you know in the what face happens like is people get them as pets yeah and when they're small they're lovey and they're fluffy and they're yummy and then they get big and then they can't do anything with them. Yeah. And that's where the problem starts. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay.